Hello everyone, it's Jess, and welcome back to my channel for today's timeless message that I recorded on November 13th, 2023. I'll be using the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit cards by Kim Kranz. There's the front of that box cover now. I love all that rainbow colors there. Beautiful and inspiring. I absolutely love this deck. I love all decks that have to do with animals and animal spirit. Some of my favorite decks indeed. Off camera, as I always do, I'm cutting and shuffling my decks and now we're just releasing any negative energy that still may be attached to the decks. Divine guide and spirit guides. Peace, love, and light. What is my all signs? Collective energy, timeless message. For whenever we find it, it is meant for us. What do we need to know? What do we need to receive? What is the most important animal spirit for us today? Spirit, 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 send us the most important message for those that receive this video. And there's one sticking up there. Wow, what a beautiful card indeed. Look at that. The deer. Do you resonate with the deer? That animal spirit. Is that your animal totem in any way? Please know that that is a sign in synchronicity. If you view this and say, there's that deer again. Why does a deer keep repeating within my life, within my environment, everywhere I go? Something about a deer pops up. That is your recurring sign to go out and do your homework, do your own research, do your own internet searches and do searches like, what is the animal spirit deer? What's the spirituality of a deer? What is the meaning spiritually of a deer? You can word it however you choose, however you see fit, okay? The animal totem deer, whatever speaks to you, all right? But going out and doing your homework and using your human intelligence along with your divine intuition as you receive messages from your environment, does it make sense to you? How does that resonate in your life, all right? And for everybody, it's going to be different. So pay attention to the recurring animals in your life and certainly symbols, colors hold energy. So if you're drawn to any of the pastelish colors here at all, please know that's all meant for you to receive. And we're going to jump into the booklet and find out what the symbol here, what Kim Kranz had in mind when she had <clears throat> categorized this particular card with the symbol. So all of her cards have that symbol at the top. <clears throat> and this particular symbol here is represented with earth. Okay. So if you're an earth sign, specifically an earth zodiac, okay, and we all have different types of zodiac signs within our chart. But if you highly resonate with earth signs, you're an earth sign, somebody that reminds you or, you know, resonates with the deer and is an earth sign or something, what have you, or whatever it is, that could be for you. So that again is a symbol that means earth signs. So that's a symbol that could be repeating in your life in some way. Okay. It might not look the same as this upside down triangle with a line through it, but earth signs in general. Okay. <clears throat> and we're going to get into it. And I love this booklet. It's a little bit larger size booklet. That's why I really appreciate it. And as she has it here, she has the picture. Okay. On the page for the focus. And then also her description here of the card, her perceptions and perspectives and what she wanted, her intention for this message, okay? So we're going to get into it. <clears throat> Overall energy of this card, loving, intuitive, graceful, the mother. The deer represents the feminine aspects of earth energy, all right? And we all have both masculine and feminine energy making up who we are in our energy, all right? We're not just one or the other. So remember that this does, I'm not just speaking to feminine energy. I'm speaking to all of us because we all have both energies within us. This energy is available to all creatures regardless of gender, but is especially potent in new parents. Are you a new parent? Or did you just learn that you're pregnant and you're going to have a new baby. 
Wow, that's exciting. I've been there and done that. It's a fantastic life experience. And I'm obviously still a parent, but the new parent part is in the past, let's just say. <clears throat> During the first few days, they are fully present, nurturing and calm. Their inner beauty radiates and the sense of grace calms the room. A dear personality affects others in this way drawing them toward a quiet tenderness. The deer card may appear when a birth or celebration of new life draws near, or when a situation calls for absolute gentleness and compassion. And sometimes <clears throat> on the topic of being a parent, and I'm having <clears throat> some difficulty clearing my throat, <clears> throat> excuse me, <clears throat> so that could be, <clears throat> wow, a sign in synchronicity for someone. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> that is definitely a sign in synchronicity for someone that's having some type of throat chakra issue, okay? Coming, you know, I have allergies in that and can have trouble clearing my throat, but this is particularly hoarse, you know, um, me trying to speak. So that is definitely something coming through for somebody um, and is a sign and take that where that resonates for you. <clears throat> but certainly when it talks about absolute gentleness and compassion as parents and understanding what it means to have little children and how you have to be gentle with them and also compassionate as they're, you know, purely in their ego. They need to have their needs met. They are emotional and it can be frustrating and they don't sleep and you have to get up at all hours of the night and they're very dependent and you have to spend all of your energy caring for them and also holding space for the human being as it is in its child stage, right? And what that means and how strong you have to be in order to do that for another being. When in balance, this card means receptive, compassionate, and nurturing. When you're out of balance, it could mean concerned or protective. And sometimes <clears throat> being overly protective and knowing when to draw that line, okay, of when you're actually protecting versus overprotecting. And that can be different for everyone, but also recognizing this in yourself. To bring into balance, get yourself out into nature or surround yourself with children. Wow. What a beautiful card indeed. What a beautiful message, okay? That really reminds us to be graceful, intuitive, gentle, and compassionate, and hold a mothering energy, a caring energy, regardless if we're male or female but really embracing that feminine energy about ourselves and in others, right? And maybe this deer means a great deal to you personally, right? Maybe you, and I'm getting nursery, maybe you decorated your nursery in fawns and baby deer with a forest and baby fawns for your new baby coming, okay? I can actually see that right now in my mind's eye. A nursery with <clears throat> baby fawns and you know, fawns have that speckled bottom and they're little and they're cute and they're gentle and they're sweet and they have those big giant eyes. And you know, maybe that resonates with you. Maybe you just got done decorating your nursery for your new one coming along here soon. <clears throat> for whatever the next, maybe your new baby is going to be an earth sign. So whenever that is coming up in the months to come, what are we currently in? Are we still in Scorpio energy? I don't know if we're still in Scorpio energy if we've transitioned to the next, but maybe your baby is due during the, the season or the sign of the earth sign, the next earth sign coming up. And you just recently decorated it with baby deer fawns and that. Wow, that's gonna resonate with just one or two of you there, all right? But this message is certainly for you here today. If your baby's gonna be born into that earth sign energy 
and to expect that new baby coming in and how you need to, <clears throat> you know, prepare yourself for basically surrounding that baby with all your attention and love and holding space for that new energy and realizing that all their needs being met is up to you, okay? And how exciting and wonderful new life is. The cycle of life is just beautiful, isn't it? Wow. I thank you so much for your time. I thank you for coming back to me the way that you do. I appreciate you. And if you feel so called to take any type of action today, what do I always say? Today is the day and now is the time. Yesterday's in the past, everyone. We have to take those lessons moving forward and apply it to our life. Also recognizing that tomorrow isn't promised. Not to me, not to you, not to anyone. So we must say thank you, God. Thank you, universe. Thank you, source energy. Thank you. You get to fill in the blank. You get to use whatever label you like. Have a beautiful day. Put your best foot forward and come back and join me again for yet another collective energy message. And if you recently decorated your nursery with little fawns and, you know, deer scenes and your baby is due in the next time an earth sign month comes around, please leave me that in the comments so that I know that when I'm picking up these intuitive downloads that it's actually reaching the correct people or if it's somebody that you know that meets those criteria. Interesting indeed. Carry on and come back tomorrow. Bye-bye.